Good evening, everyone. Welcome to another edition of Baking with Jeanette. But I'm not going to be baking tonight. Um, it's a no-bake dessert. So uh, just wait for a few coming in and then I'll explain to you what I'm going to be making tonight. So, uh, I am Jad, how are you? So, yes, as you can see, I've got me, uh, my trusty uh, food processor. So, uh, ah, we've got Becky as well. Hiya, Becky. So, uh, hello to the three that's watching, same as I say. Mr. P is just making me a refreshment before I start, i.e. is making me a coffee. So, uh, so yes, I've got everything ready. Um, you know, we're all ready to go. Let's just say no baking involved. So we've not got to wait for them in the oven, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. It's a no bake dessert. Um, so yeah, it's called, as you can see across the bottom of the screen, it's grasshopper pie. <laughs> save, save him. Well, if you can't be here in person, I'm Jad, I'm not saving him any. You know, as as we say, you snooze, you lose. <laughs> I'm okay, Becky. I'm doing fine. Um, yeah, same as I say. Uh, <coughs> uh, yeah, you know, Chris and Callum's been out in the countryside today. Callum thoroughly enjoyed himself and he says to his dad, he says, I want to come here again. He says, but next time we come, he says, can we bring a picnic? <laughs> so he's thoroughly enjoyed it today. He thought it was absolutely lovely, the place that they went. Uh, Chris has uploaded a, a video, but obviously I was busy getting ready for this stream, so I haven't had a chance to watch it yet. Not good enough. <laughs> Um, yeah, I'm not going to start just yet because there's only three people watching. I, you know, I always leave it till there's a few more coming. So, uh, um, you know, till there's a few more coming in, uh, you know. Coffee coming through. Mm. Yeah. Could you melt me that butter while you? No. While you stood up. <laughs> oh, oh. <laughs> you just tripped over that trolley. Who put that in? You did. <laughs> it's, it's just, uh, and just as oi oi, Chris lad. Oi oi. Hello, Becky. No, I've heard you in, and somebody else um, in the background. Welsh, Welsh Clark says uh, it is, he's doing a stream. He says, and I'm Jad with him before he came here. He says, he said, save him a slice. I went, tell him if you snooze, you lose. Yeah, I'm not saving him none if he can't come himself. Exactly. I'm going to eat his slice. By the way, I'm not having your slice at all. <laughs> <laughs> oh, dear. But hey-ho. But uh, not to worry. Still only got the four in. We'll just wait a bit longer. So I'll just I'll just give you a little bit of biography about it. It says grasshopper pie, a cool and minty mousse filling, nestled into a crunchy chocolate Oreo crust with whipped cream, easy to make and so refreshing. So there you go. It says course. It's obviously it's a dessert. The cuisine is a, it is American, hence the unusual name. So, um, it should have 10 servings, but you haven't seen the size of Chris's servings. <laughs> it says, she says, no, I'm eating my slice because I'm here. <laughs> <laughs> so, I've just been, I've just been, um, yeah, Chris, you know? 
I've just been uh, sort of giving them the biography. Obviously, it's called Grasshopper Pie. Probably Becky sh will know why it's called Grasshopper Pie, because it's American. There's no grasshoppers in the no, recipe. No. So just at the bottom of the sheet, there is some notes on the recipe. It says to make the chocolate shavings, run a veggie peel it down the side of a bar of chocolate. I've done that, and I'm quite proud of myself, actually. But where where am I put them now? Oh yeah. So I'll, I'll I'll just let you have a quick sneak preview. I did what it says. I used a vegetable peeler, and that's what I come up with. I'm quite proud of myself. Mm. So if you can see, they the chocolate shavings, and I've actually done what it says. I've used a um. A potato peeler so becky says grasshopper is a mint liqueur cocktail well this is minty but it ain't got no alcohol in it whatsoever so it does say it does say on the thing no alcohol but a ho Ooh. hiya johnny how are you yeah, oh it's tracy it, no it's tracy Oh, hello, Tracy. I'm sharing. Oh, so yes, there you go. Becky's told us why it's called grasshopper pie. Uh, grasshopper is a mint liqueur cocktail, but obviously this is not not got no alcohol in it. So, hey ho. She's put hi, Chris. Hello. So, uh, so yeah. I mean, it, 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 it does look nice and delicious. So as I say, it's an Oreo crust with a minty mousse flavour with a big dollop of fresh uh, double cream on top. And obviously, I've done the shaving. So, uh, so, yeah. So, obviously, we're not be having any tonight because by the time I've done the live stream, it's going to be too late. So... Yeah, <laughs> Why are you gonna try some? <laughs> Take all around. So nom, 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 nom. So yes, I mean there's uh, you, you, you know Cheers everyone. I'm just having a a little beverage. Well Keena wanted to say hello to Antinette and stop her. <laughs> yeah. It's, how I laugh, I couldn't stop laughing, bless her. <laughs> I'm, I'm there waving away to her. I don't think she realised what she'd done, Tracy. Oh, Auntie Nancy, hello. Because <laughs> basically, I answered it thinking it were you, and uh, Keena were there, and I'm, I'm there going like, hello, hello. She was looking at me, gone out as if to say, oh, God, what have I done? <laughs> This won't say no, lol. <laughs> I won't say no, you know that. <laughs> but yeah, I thought it were hilarious, bless her. She probably thought, oops, what have I done? <laughs> uh -oh, but anyway, it went nice to see her. And I thought, well, I'll, I'll, I'll let her get on with talking to her cousin because I know that's probably what she, you know, put. What what she was meant to have done. So uh, mm, Becky says her mum used to make it with a peppermint snaps. Delicious. Ooh. Kids did get a, get a bit. <laughs> <laughs> well, you see, uh, if you make this, Becky, you'll be able to have some because, same as I say, it ain't got no alcohol in whatsoever. It's the non-alcoholic version. Let's just say. So, uh, so yeah, this is the non-alcoholic. <laughs> Send it back. We want beer in it. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, so yeah, I'll just finish my cigarette and then I'll I'll start cracking on because we we've had a steady seven in. Um, I did want a few more. Hey, we've got Bella. Yeah. <laughs> no. <laughs> <laughs> I've just I, Chris has just made a coffee, Bella. So I says I'll have a quick fag. I'll you know 
drink a bit of my coffee while I wait for a few more people to come in. So, uh, so yes, yeah, so um, uh, Becky sort of told us the origin of the grasshopper pie. Grasshopper is a uh, a minty liqueur in America, so obviously that's where the name originates from. <clears throat> but obviously this ain't got no alcohol in it whatsoever so this is the oh well i suppose you could say the virgin uh you know um the virgin well we aren't no alcohol well you send it back <laughs> I didn't get you a bottle, but I broke it all. Uh, Tracy says, I just come in from the shops. It was a shock to see you. <laughs> Let's just stop. So, uh, oh, we've lost a viewer. It's gone down to six. <laughs> uh, Virgin, there's a distant memory. But what I'm saying is, Bella, this ain't got no alcohol in whatsoever. So, uh, same as I say, it does say a cool and minty mousse filling nestled into a crunchy chocolate Oreo crust and topped with whipped cream. Easy to make and so refreshing. So there you go. That's a bit of biography about it. Why did you low signal? Yeah, there you go. Oh, minute. <laughs> so I'm just moving a few things about here. So I have got everything... Uh, Okay, don't do. It, yeah, it's not it's not Johnny, it's Tracy Bella. Well, I don't drink, but I don't mind it in cakes. <laughs> You're a cakeaholic then. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna sort of start, I'm gonna whiz these Oreos in the food processor. Now, I will warn you, it's a bit noisy. Well, you've got headphones on. So, Amjad. yeah. <laughs> just, uh, just just, take your headphones out, Amjad, because it is quite noisy. So, you need 24 Oreos. Well, we're going down a bit, uh, you can. Like that while that's going on. Uh, no, because you can't see just point it down a little bit. Point it down a little bit. So yeah, so 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 there's 24 Oreos in there. So Mr. P's just gonna sorry if I'm shaking you. Don't it on stream yards. Yes, please, and I can see what's it like, baby. Uh right there. Yeah, about there. All right. Yeah, that's fine. There you go. <clears throat> so anyway, I thought I'd just warn you before I started, it is quite noisy. So just either put your fingers in your ears a, 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 a minute or two. Or put mute on. Or, or mute it <laughs> because it is quite noisy. Like the camera. <laughs> so I'm just going to whiz, give these a whiz. So yes, you <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah. You don't take the cream or anything out the Oreos. You just chuck them in as 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 is. I'm just going to give it one final whiz. Volume is back up. <laughs> hey, I forgot to volume is down, and you started to put. Well, you're in back home just as I turned it on again. <laughs> yeah. Well, um, oh, God, volume down. <laughs> so, yes. Um, so, you want five tablespoons of unsalted butter melted. Obviously, this is for you. So, I'm just going to put that in the top of my food processor in my little, uh, my little funnel thing. Slow-mo. 
Yeah, they could do a live slow motion, wouldn't it? So, yeah, so if you want to put volume down again, I'm Jad. Um, <laughs> I'm just going to give it a final... Oh, there's a, a full in there. Hmm? Um, an Oreo, what's not crushed up. Oh, has it missed it? Yeah. Oh. I'll just uh, give it a little bit of a poke down because it's not quite... Uh, I've never said it. Down! <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, well, I, I thought, well, I better warn you because it is quite noisy. So I just want to crush these little bits up that's that's not... Uh... Are we ready again? I <laughs> Obviously, if you ain't got a food processor, you just put them in a bag and bash them with rolling pin. This back box. Yeah. So um that'll please the neighbours. Uh yeah. Roll your his back up. <laughs> <laughs> that that's it for the food processor now, Ram Judge. So you'll be able to leave the volume up now. Do you want to uh, mm -hmm. remove this, baby? What, live on TV? <laughs> we'll get banned. Oh. See, so, I removed it. <laughs> All of it. I meant <laughs> put the camera down a little bit. Oh, it's stuck to Matt. Yeah, because it's got suction things on the bottom. Finally, hallelujah. Is... <laughs> <laughs> Still got a shout out. Oh, Gordon Penny. <laughs> sorry, I'm dead. But sorry. Uh, I can't see thing, Bobby. What we like? Uh, oh, uh, spot on. Sort of. Ish. Ish. So, obviously, as you can see, I've got a foil pie dish. I have ordered one from Amazon, but as yet, it's not arrived. Um, so yeah, so these are just like some that I've recycled. Um, so yeah, and I it, it's it's a lovely deep one. Oh, I've got itchy nose now. Mm. So what I'm gonna do now is just give it a final mix. Put that into the. Uh, Is it like making cheesecake, says Bella? Um, it's a bit similar, but so I've got I've got a, a glass and I've also got a spoon. So I'm gonna sort of flatten it out with a spoon. And then all the good bakers basically squish it down with a what? Uh, a glass. Forget to finish your sentence off. Yeah. Well. <laughs> I think what I might do, baby, is let you put it in the fridge a little bit while I'm making the filling, because it's a bit gloopified. Yeah, it's gloopified when we put it in the uh, or freezer. Put it in the freezer. Kate's here. Hiya, Kate. We better not go. <laughs> so yeah, I mean, it's just a little like if if you are making a cheesecake or something like this, you know. Uh, so I'm just going to let Chris put that in the freezer for now. 
that while I'm making the filling because I think I've put a little bit too much butter in it. It did say five tablespoons and that's all I've <laughs> that's all I've done, but it's a bit lukefied, is it? Yeah. So if you want to put it in the freezer for a little while. So yeah, there you go. So obviously the next thing is to to make the uh it's tra it's Tracy uh K it. So the next thing is to make it the moose filling. So for the filling we have got sixteen ounces of cream cheese. Bella says it will set when the butter hardens. Yeah, well that's why I've told him to put it in to in freezer, Bella. So yeah, you want sixteen ounces of cream cheese. I like title, no actual graph opposite. Uh, who's, who's put that? Oh, hey, me? Yeah, well, yeah. What you mean? Because you like it because I've put it in, in, to, in title. Uh, no actual grasshoppers. Frugal! I have frugal farmer. Are the, are the grasshoppers chocolate covered? Uh, <laughs> so. Also, to this, you need one cup of icing sugar or powdered sugar, you guys in America. So, yeah, so that's 16 ounce of cream cheese and one cup of icing sugar. I know these things I could give Mary Berry a for her money. <laughs> uh, so I'm just going to sort of lightly fold that in because I don't want icing sugar clogging camera up and it going all over the place and going everywhere. So I just like to... So I've got my mixer and uh, I'm going to whip this till it's smooth. So the next bit is a little bit tricky because it says while continuing to whip, um, you've got to drizzle the cream in slowly. So I've, I've got to be... Uh... <laughs>
It says for this first bit, Tracy, you need one and a third cups of heavy whipping cream. Well, that in English terms is double cream. So I converted it into grams and it's about 270 something grams in in like in like uh our, our way yeah. Yeah, so it, it just says, um, <clears throat> when all the cream has been added, turn the mixer up to high speed and whip until the mousse can hold stiff peaks. So I'll just give it another... I'd stick my finger in that and how to take it. <laughs> so I'm just going to scrape round the sides. Uh, as you can see, that's well, well mixed in. So now the interesting bit. So just move that out of the way. If you're wondering why the cream's in a jam jar, because my fridge is a, a, bit, a bit on the dodgy side. Um, so, yeah. So, now I've got my little tub here, look. And I've got my peppermint extract, which is do Dr. Oka. Now, it does say a tablespoon. So... I just hope it's not too overpowering because it is strong stuff. Um, so, yeah, I'm just hoping it don't sort of spoil the taste and it's uh, it's too overpowering. So here's, here's the peppermint extract going in. I'm not going to put the full tablespoon in. I'm just going to put it about that much in. That's the peppermint extract going in. Becky says try two tablespoons first. Two? Mm. Um, it does say only say one on the recipe, Becky, but hey-ho. So now we've got the green food colouring. I don't know how much is in this, so I've got some in reserve anyway. So um, I'm just going to... Uh, it doesn't 
I don't think there's much in it to be honest with you. Honest. honest. <laughs> oh, two teaspoons, not tablespoons. Yeah, well, same as I say, I've put sort of half a tablespoon in because I thought it 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 it, it was gonna it'd be a bit overpowering to uh, to put. <clears throat> so what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna fold this into the mixture, see what. Uh, what lovely colour it comes up like. So, uh, um, I think it might need a little bit more. It's just on the pale green side at the moment. So, I don't know whether you can see the colour in the bowl. So, I think it's going to need a little bit more uh a bit more coloring in it so what i'm gonna do is i'm just gonna put a few more drops in i'm not gonna go crazy with it because we don't want uh some weird looking uh green monster do we <laughs> no uh Does uh, does any do you think this wants some more in? Do you think that needs any more in, or do you think that's that's about right? Kermit pie. Kermit pie. Good yeah. idea, Jeanette. Part of the extract. Uh, so yeah. Um, does anyone think that that's enough colouring, or should I put a little bit more in? Bella says put some more in. <coughs> Just put a tiny bit more in Bella and that, then that should be it. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, I'm not going to put any more in because we don't want it too dark. So, uh, Becky says more as well. And Trace says, yes, a bit more will do. Yeah. So, uh, so yeah, I've uh, lol. So yeah, I think I think that's about right now. I don't think we want it too dark, do we? So, uh, uh, if you want, oh, I know what I, f I nearly forgot. I nearly forgot. Um, it does say, um, this is just optional, but it says crush four Oreos up and add that to the mix as well. So, what I've done is that earlier on, I crushed four Oreos up. Hiya, Baz. How are you? Where are you, baby boy? So, yeah. So, I have crushed four Oreos up. And now I'm going to add that to the uh, to the mix. I nearly forgot. <laughs> you nearly did that half, I yeah. Know. I nearly forgot. So, basically, these are optional. You don't have to add some crushed up Oreos to the mix. But it does... Uh, it does make it look quite yummy. And I can tell you, I wish you'd got smelly vision. You can smell the peppermint in it. it smells absolutely delicious. I'll take your word for that. <laughs> so, uh, so, yes, it does. It, sm it smells delicious. So, yes, yeah, so now I've folded the Oreos in. Um, Mr. P can get me the... Uh, what, one back yeah. Well, what I'll let you do as well is while I'm uh, whipping the cream up for the top, is uh, put it back in for a couple of minutes. Oh, that uh, 
that hit the spot. So, uh, Hey, what? Oh, we up. Yeah. So yeah, Chris put this in in earlier on for me. I don't know whether this is all going to fit in. Well, we better offer that one, uh, wider one. Really? Uh huh. Let me get those fittings on it. It's about about time he did some things in it. It's Jeanette's channel. It's not me to to be to be doing stuff. Should I tell you what you can do for me, baby? What's that? Can you get me a couple of those moose dishes? A couple of those moose dishes. Yeah. Should I whack some some yeah in there? Yeah. Because yeah. that will take that while you're going. You've got me doing jobs now, Baz. Uh, so yes, uh, obviously you can see it's a deep tin, but it's full to capacity. So Chris is going to get me, uh, eh? Hey? Just bring me three, just to be on safe side. Do you want that taken in? Yeah, just put it in the freezer for me for a little bit. So obviously I've got uh, I've got ooh, 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 well, 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 uh, it is uh, it is uh, full to capacity. So what I'm going to do know. is I'm just going to put this mousse that's left over into my posh mousse dishes. <laughs> uh, uh, so yeah. Waste not, want not, as they say. She said, uh, Abella says it'll be a miracle if it get, has time to set. Mm. Don't drop it, Chris. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to juggle it. How long does it take to set the pie up? Well, basically, Becky, what I do, I do, I do the quick fix thing because my uh, my fridge is on the blink. So, basically, I've asked him to put it in the freezer for me. It only wants about 10, 15 minutes. So, uh, if he doesn't drop uh, see, the, 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 there's just enough for three mooses for as you see so you've done my three mooses and me and me what's it that's in freezer where's your horse uh, <laughs> so yeah so that's three of me dishes full full up now i forgot baby i need Fr another friday bella when's the new fridge it, it's coming friday what you forgot um i need another bowl to whip that Cream fit top it with a bowl, yeah. So, yes, it's uh, it's coming Friday. It says between like 7 a.m. and I don't know, 7 a.m. and 7 p.m. I think it is. So, your guess is as good as mine. Best about it though, Bella, it says when you order, oh, you can get it like next day delivery. Went on it, paid for it, and then it says, "Oh, sorry, we can't deliver till till Friday." Um, can I put yeah. them in there? Yeah, yeah. Put them in the freezer if you want as well. You see, basically, I just want it to set a little bit while I'm doing this last little bit. So. Uh, So yes, we're on the last we're on the last leg now, guys. Like <laughs> oh yeah. Well you won't you won't believe the lengths I've had to go to today to keep everything cool. That's that's why the cream is in jam jars, because I've had a bowl of cold water and basically I put all the ingredients in the cold water to keep them cool. 
Oh, don't you worry, Bella, it it, it, it not last long. What? So uh, she says, uh, you'll have to eat it up quick with no fridge. And uh, Kate says you should speak to head office about that if you pay for next day. But you see, the thing is, Kate, it says if your order's over a certain amount, you get free delivery anyway. But I could have got it next day if I wanted to pay twelve ninety five, and I says I've already paid an arm and a leg for fridge freezer, so why should I pay twelve another twelve ninety five? So yeah, so I'll just run over the ingredients for the. Uh, you want twenty four Oreo cookies and five tablespoons of unsalted butter. That's for the Oreo base. 16 ounces of cream cheese, a cup of powdered sugar, one and a third cups of heavy, heavy whipping cream, which in our language is double cream, one tablespoon of peppermint extract, but I didn't quite put a, it is quite potent stuff. Uh, it says a drop of leaf green gel paste colour optional and four Oreo cookies roughly chopped, and that's optional as well. So this is for the... the cream topping bit you need three quarters of a cup of heavy whipping cream again in our language that's heavy heavy cream double cream so that's three quarters of a cup where's the grasshoppers uh pass <laughs> it does say in the title no actual grasshoppers in it Baz. So to this, you want um, three tablespoons of icing sugar. Mm -hmm. <laughs> So, yeah, so I'm just going to whip this up, guys. Uh... Hiya, Gordo. <laughs> He's bringing RSPCA, he says. <laughs> It does, it does say in the title, Gordo, that there aren't actually any grasshoppers in it. And Becky sort of gave us the um, the history of it. Grasshopper is a mint liqueur. So we've had the history lesson from, uh, from Becky that grasshopper is actually a mint liqueur. <laughs> Wrong one. 
Oh, oh. Everything's, oh. Oh, everything yeah. Uh, everything's gone oops a daisy. Oh. <coughs> so, uh, so yeah, if you're wondering, I've just knocked everything flying. Mm. So we'll leave we'll leave the uh, we'll leave the actual thing a bit longer in the freezer just so we, I can show you um, what's something else gone. <laughs> so uh, if you want to uh, put the camera up, then sweetheart, while I have a quick cigarette. Sorry, Lucy. Duty calls, my darling. Yes. So yeah, so that's basically the last bit. Um, uh, Chris has put the. Uh, put it on stream now, then, so I can see what's what. Looks a bit. There you go. All right, now. Uh huh. So we'll we'll leave the uh, we'll leave the uh, the grasshopper pie in in the freezer a bit longer. Ah, <laughs> I knew you'd have to do that at some point. <laughs> so yeah, that's how quick and easy it is to make. So yeah, you know if you're stuck for a dessert to make, um, as you saw, it took no no time at all. To whip, whip, whip up, put together. Um, I don't know whether or not to do the um, the uh, the uh, what were it the microwavable pudding next week or to do muffins. Jeanette, my auntie uses PME. Oh, uh, yeah. Some as I say. Wherever possible, I'm Jad. I like to buy Dr. Oak because I know it's good quality stuff. But I'd bought that other, like Asda's own mate, but I find it's a bit, uh, how can I put it, watery. Whereas the Dr. Oak one is actually a, like a gel. That Asda one is more like a liquid, if, if you understand what I'm saying. Yeah, they're cheap enough. But I find it's false, false economy because we have been like a, a, a watered down version, let's just say. You're having to use more. I think it's better to buy either Dr. Dr. Oka or a decent gel brand and then you don't need as much. Uh. So yeah, I mean it's it's something I could look into, uh, uh, Amjad, just to you know, I have ordered. What did I get off of Lakeland? Them wooden mixing spoons, didn't I? Mm. So yes, so I have ordered from Lakeland before. Well, via Amazon, I think it were. Uh, my auntie uses Dr. Oak uh, orange flavor in vanilla extract. Sometimes uses Aster strong orange. But you see, I've got Dr. Oka um, Sicilian lemon and I've got Dr. Oka orange extract. Um, so, yeah. So I've got, uh, but I did a recipe once and it called for salted caramel flavouring and I bought Asda one there. But I, I, I must say, I do prefer the Dr. Oka ones. Because the uh, same as I say, it did call for a tablespoon of mint extract in the pie, but it's quite potent stuff, and when you don't want it like too overpowering, so I didn't quite put a tablespoon in. So, um, so yeah, so uh, I don't know what I've done with it now. <laughs> So yeah, the 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 peppermint extract was Dr. Oka, and it is quite strong stuff. So I didn't want it like too overpowering. So I, uh, some as I say, I didn't quite put a tablespoon in. 
Uh, I've got a lamp here, Kate. It's here. I'll, I'll show it you, look. Can you see it? It's my lamp that she's borrowed. Yeah. It, it's it's the lamp that... Uh, Otherwise you'd be dark. Yeah. I have, I have to have this on, Kate, because... Otherwise, it's very, very dark. So I don't know whether that's. Uh... Well, leave it alone a minute, and then I'll tell you. Yeah. We've got it right shiny thing there. Get it on street yards, girl. Uh, uh, I'm just says he said pizza and chips is stuffed. Well, we cheated and had a McDonald's for the first time in three months. Well, it's longer than three months. Well, it is, isn't it? About five months. Yeah, that's, is that all right? Or is it in your face? It, turn it a bit like slightly. That's I it. I can't go too much because it. Yeah. So, right, we're trying to get the uh, angle of the light proper. That's it. That's it. That's that it. Right for yeah. You? yeah. That's it. No, we're good. So, yeah, the, uh, same as I say, the problem it's sticking to my arm problem with this is it's an allergen light and it don't talk make you sweat when you've got it pointing in your face uh kate had mcdonald's as well <laughs> don't know what, back in these. well the last time we had had one it was about six months ago kate yeah, it and it was absolutely rubbish and chris says i'm never oh i found that extract now yeah that's that uh extract uh i'm jad that's the dr oak uh, peppermint extract uh, tell her why we're rubbish. Everything were crap. Well, they had. Yeah, you like have the, your bun, your burger, your salad, your cheese, and all the rest of it all in layers. Well, that weren't in layers. Well, it were. It was just all one layer at the bottom. I think they got a trainee on that yeah, day. And every single burger. Yeah, I think they got a trainee on and they like put everything on bottom layer and top layer hadn't got nothing. So, um, so yeah, so same as I say, we haven't had, we haven't had a takeaway or nothing for about six months. So Chris says, bugger it, he says, we'll go to, uh, we'll go to, um, McDonald's for a treat. You know, when you've took them in, oh, you're not, okay. There's a jam jar here, look. Uh, mm -hmm. will you, uh, um, yeah, will you, um, take it out to freeze it for me? Well, all of them are just the one. Uh, well, just big and for now, so yeah. Um, uh, but you see, same as I say, last time we had one, it put us off big time, so we ain't that's why we ain't had one for about six months. So, so basically, we said, bugger it, we'll uh, we'll have because I can. Some as I say, he went out with Chris. He says, when they go next time, he wants to take a picnic. Well, he wants to go the whole hog. Uh, Put that back on me. What? Oh, you're still smoking. Yeah. I think that's now as fridge, not as freezer. Uh, <laughs> it's still a bit... Yeah, well, it, it, it's basically, I just want to... Don't forget to put thing down. Oh, oh. oh yeah, my uh, YouTube studio, it says two, uh, 2,319. Yet when I go to my channel, it says 2,332. Oh. You're going to put it on a stream, yeah? Yeah, okay. just, uh, let me just put that out in a minute. Eh? Me, are we? You want some dinner? I'll give mm. you some tea, Tucks. Or some meat. We are right. Oh, I'm sticking to it again. We are right. Yeah. There we go. You can see it. Good, Tucker. Let's go get you some meat. Oh. So, all there's left to do now, really, is put a blob of double cream in the middle. I'll save a bit for the others, for the. Uh, For the other, for the um, 
Yeah, the ones that sit in the uh, in the dishes. Yes, uh, it is Bella. Every Wednesday is takeaway night in our house. We're going to have chicken and chips tomorrow, but my brother keeps moaning for fish and chips, so it's fish and chips tomorrow. I am throwing a pillow at <laughs> my brother. So, yeah, it is only uh, the drive-through. So I've put some cream on top. Now, this is what I did earlier on. I uh, got some shavings. Well, I got some milk chocolate, and I used the potato peeler to uh to shave you know to do these shavings so i'll 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 I hold a few back and uh for the uh for the mooses that are in the dishes so basically i'll just spread that out a little bit um So there you have it, guys. There you have your um, grasshopper pie. So uh, some as I say, that trick was at the bottom of the menu. It says get a bar of chocolate, uh, do the uh, chocolate shavings, um, like just run down the edge with a, a potato peeler, and that's how I've got these chocolate shavings. So that's that's it, guys. Um, so yeah, um, I think I'm going to get Chris to put it back in the freezer for a little while. Uh, get the others out. I'll put do the, do the same with them. Just put a bit of cream on top of them, and um, basically, uh, you know, the few shavings I've got left. So. Uh, Thank you very much, Tracy. Some as I say, it's got to set a little bit more, so it can't have any just yet because it's got to set. <coughs> Some as I say, it's if you if you're looking for a quick dessert, you've seen how easy it is. It's Oreo base, uh, peppermint. Ooh, look at that. So yeah. I did that, them chocolate shavings, actually, with potato peeler. Oh, so just be a bit careful with it. You're not kidding. Uh, so, yeah, Chris is just going to put that back in the freezer for a little while while I decorate these. I'm just going to put the uh, um, a bit of cream on each one. Very careful. Oh, Tony's in. Looks delicious, Jeanette. Sorry, I missed it, Britt. Looks great. Yes, it's called grasshopper pie, Tony. Oh, Tony. And no, there, wa there wasn't any grasshoppers in it. So where? We, we just squished them down. We Be were rolling. Becky is from America, and she says it derives from a, a mint liqueur called grasshopper. So I've also managed to uh, squeeze... Uh, Three of me dessert oh, dessert dishes uh, or Sunday dishes or whatever you want to call them. So, uh, I mean, obviously, next time when I make it, I could do a, um, you know, I could do a, a bigger pie dish. <laughs> uh, so, yeah, so, so that's that. I'll just... Um, do same on here what I've done with others and I'll just uh, finish it off with a few chocolate shavings and I've got we've got like two desserts for the price of one mm. so uh, so yeah so we've got like two two desserts and that's it nothing's wasted Boom. jobs are good in if you want to put camera back up baby so yeah so there we have it you've got i've got a, a grasshopper pie and i've also got three grasshopper mooses as well uh you don't kill it so let me stop it showing it uh, <laughs> what's up, 
meat. So yeah, so basically, yeah, put it on stream, you know. yeah I've, I've I've done the pie. Bobby, put it on stream. Hang on a minute. Who's your toll? Is it is is a very. Uh, I'm director here. Yeah, I was going to say. There we go. We're right now. Uh, right. So yeah, so Chris is. Uh, ah. <laughs> Tony says, "Oh, one day it will be mine." Chris, evil laugh louder. <laughs> so yeah, so some as I say, um, I really could have done me having a bigger pie dish, but I thought we it being a deep one, it'd be all right. But obviously not. So. I compromised or, or improvised as you might say the uh moose thing oreo it has got oreos in um so i've, I've you know put it in three uh three uh, dessert dishes so uh, basically uh you know it's uh but but yeah same as i say it's simple and easy to make if i think about it tracy when i shut the stream down i know I, it was late last night when i remembered to send you that other uh, recipe but when i've <laughs> shut, <Don't drop> it, <laughs> when i shut it down i'll definitely send you the um the recipe for it same as i say it's something that you can make with kina it's easy to make it just don't forget to have a big pie dish. <laughs> but you see, I, I was saying earlier on, Becky, I have ordered a pie dish from Amazon and I'm hoping it had come before tonight's live stream, but it hadn't. So, and that is a, a, a big deep pie dish so anyway same as i say i've always i'm always saving the foil dishes so um good job uh, jobs are good and you got two puddings out of well well this is what i said uh tracy you know obviously because it could have been d d a bigger pie dish i don't want you know me i don't like wasting things so i said just get me some of them plastic dishes i'll put the rest in um hi paul how are you hello paula you've missed the main event paul i've made grasshopper pie yes another title suggests there's no grasshoppers in it becky is from america and she's i've got it on good authority that grasshopper it comes from it's a mint liqueur but I ain't, there ain't no alcohol in it whatsoever. So, uh, yeah, never heard of grasshopper pie until now. So there you go. You see, I hadn't, Tony, until I came across it. And I thought, well, you know what? It's a no-bake dessert. It's something that anybody can make. And basically, I've whipped it up in less than an hour. But but yeah, I have I had never heard of it, and uh, you see on the heading on the recipe it says grasshopper pie, a cool and minty mousse filling nestled into a crunchy chocolate Oreo crust and topped with whipped cream, easy to make and so refreshing. So there yeah, you go. Huh? So yeah. You know, it's 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 an easy enough uh, thing to whip together. Um, you know, it's 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 quick and easy. Um, you know, and if you sort of, I suppose it's going to have that sort of mint aero taste about it, if you know what I mean. So yeah, so uh, you know. It did say a. Uh, I missed some of the chocolate mousse. D did it set up? It did, but I found out where I went wrong, Becky, because it says on the recipe, every whipping cream. And of course, I went. Well, Chris went out and bought me whipping cream, but I realised that the difference is 
your heavy whipping cream is our double cream so i am going to make it again but i'm not going to do it on a live stream i'm going to make it like a vlog like a vlog so i do know where i went wrong um oreos yeah pa callum bring me that packet of oreos in wait we when you come in please where are they one side yeah near toaster so yeah so i realized where i'd gone wrong i'd use the wrong cream in first place so i am going to make it again i have got white and i've got dark chocolate so i'm going to try it again but with obviously our whipping cream not whipping cream our double cream so yeah they are oreos uh, tony like chocolate biscuits with like um uh chocolate flavored sandwich biscuit with a vanilla flavor filling so it has got like a hey up benny's photo bombing again mm. don't press note benny so yeah um so yeah they they oreos it's like a chocolate biscuit with a vanilla cream middle but when you do them in the food processor you just bung them in as they are you know we um you don't scrape the cream out or whatever medicine hey medicine i know it were going to walk right across me uh my laptop so yeah so there you have it guys um you know it's basically you whip with the biscuits in a food processor add butter do like a like you would a cheesecake um you know like crust and then you you know you whip the cream up and add mint and some crushed oreos and green food coloring and that that's your booze so yeah so uh basically that's it simple easy to do she says good job yeah. but but yeah so if anybody does want the recipe same as i say i always put the ingredients in the description so if you do want to make it you know the ingredients is there in the description if you're not sure i can always if you're on messenger i can always send it you via messenger i'll let you know what it tastes like Tony. <laughs> so you see obviously if i'd have got the proper pie dish it wouldn't have been a problem but some as i say i'd only got the foil ones this pie dish didn't uh, didn't come when i expected it to come <coughs> so but same as tracy says i've got two desserts out of, out of it so we've got the pie and we've also got three dishes a mousse you know um Oh, bye, How are you? I'm back and joining. Uh, see it morning, mate. Good night, everybody. Uh, he's putting it in front of it. Uh. <laughs> That's Callum putting his hand in front of it. Uh, yeah, it's uh, well, I bought three packets just to be on safe side tony uh it calls for 24 so i thought there were only about 10 in a packet but it turns out there's 12. so i've got like got a full packet you know spare yeah it is tracy on johnny's thing tony's said good night so yeah so i just bought three packets just to be on the safe side now you can get a cheaper version of them as to do one called cookies and cream now that they're exactly the same it's just like oreos but it's their own mech so if you were i'm just says night callum uh, so if you want to do it a bit cheaper as to have got their own make and it's called cookies and cream so if you make what to make it even cheaper you buy asda's own mech they exactly the same they are you know kate says good night 
So yeah, so there's no difference whatsoever because I have used them previously. Um, it's just the fact that our little Asda, obviously, you know, they want to make as much profit as what they can, so they don't actually stock the cookies and cream one. They only stock the Oreo one. Right, guys, I've been on just over an hour. I hope you've enjoyed tonight's live stream and, uh, you know, it inspires you to make it. So um, I'll see you all again, again tomorrow for Wednesday, Wacky Wednesday. I forget what day it is. So, uh, so yeah, so uh, remind me to send Tracy that um, recipe yeah. when I shut it down. Okay. Thank you very much, Kate. I do appreciate it. Same as I say, I um, I like doing these because I don't like to do anything that's too complicated um, that anyone can make. And when I say anyone, I mean anyone. So uh, uh, I will see you all on tomorrow's uh, live stream tomorrow evening on Wacky Wednesday. Uh, thank you for your continued support, and I'll see you again later. Bye. Bye. I'm waving and they can't see me. <laughs>